Guys, sometimes there's days where things just don't work out and you put a lot of effort into getting ready and trying to get yourself excited to film so you can be high energy on camera and seasonal depression hits and it's not seasonal because you take antidepressants all year round but something about that fallback daylight savings really hits like a bus and there's nothing to do to cheer you up so why not just add to the pain and add to the suffering by watching this movie it can't get any worse. Today, we are going to be watching After We Hell while extremely depressed and seeing how long we can make it. Today's video is sponsored by Audible. If you guys don't know what Audible is, Audible is an audiobook listening app where you guys can listen to thousands of audiobook titles right now. My recommendation this month is Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Maria Machado. This audiobook is a collection of short stories containing science fiction all the way to comedy and horror. I haven't actually listened to this audiobook yet, but this month I am so if you want to join me we can listen to her body and other parties together through audible and you guys can tell me your thoughts on this audiobook audible is the perfect thing to listen to when you're doing just about anything of course you can just use it for entertainment but you can also use it to entertain on the go this means you can listen to audible when you're driving when you're traveling when you're working out when you're grocery shopping when you're cleaning it's the perfect thing to entertain yourself while you're also doing a lot of your everyday tasks audible members get one free credit every single month and that is good for for any title in their premium selection, which includes bestsellers and new releases. When you use these free credits, it doesn't mean you only get the audiobook for a limited amount of time, you get to keep them forever. And if you're an Audible member, you get full access to the Plus catalog. With the all new Plus catalog, you can have access to tons and tons of content on audible.com right now. That includes audiobooks, podcasts, Audible originals, sleep tracks, wellness programs, and so much more. Audible has plenty of content to inspire, entertain, and inform that means you can have everything from your fiction your non-fiction you have all different types of genres of drama thriller mystery and you also have access to health and wellness programs you guys can get a 30-day free trial right now by going to audible.com slash trend level or texting trend level to 500 500 to get that 30-day free trial one free audiobook and access to their plus catalog right now. And if you don't want to type all that out, there will be a link at the top of my description. Thank you Audible for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, let's get started. Were all of these movies always rated R? What, you don't like that? There's something about watching softcore porn on camera that changes you as a person. And doing this for the third time is it's really doing something to the trajectory of my life. Like, it's like something that I can't come back from. It's something that I'm putting out into the internet, into the world. It's my, it's in my digital footprint. I am i can't take this back. And I believe they are making a fourth movie. So get ready for part four, ladies. You know, everyone wants to make fun of Wattpad Studios, but I think after all this time and after all I've done on the internet, I think Wattpad Studios is the only person that's ever gonna let me touch a film. And I really hope they do. Like, I really hope, like, after making fun of fan fiction movies for this long, like, I will be able to make a fan fiction movie in the future. Live action that hoe. Like, I would love to make an adaptation. Can we please talk about this? You don't give a shit about us. If that's supposed to be Tessa's mom, that's just, like, not the same actress from the first movie. Like, I guess she just, like, did not want to be a part of it anymore, which, like, good for her. But also, like, you already went. You, you're already in it. You might as well get paid. Come on, don't be a pussy. Are you still drinking? Can you excuse us for a second? Okay, I already can predict where this movie is going. He's gonna be like an ass right now. Like we're all gonna be like, oh my God, Harden's such an ass for treating her literal dad like that. But then at the end, like the dad is actually gonna be like fucked up and do some like shady shit. It just makes me upset that I can already predict that. I can already predict that. In Seattle yet? Nope. <laughs> no? Nope. Um, excuse me, who is that? <laughs> um. That's not the same person. They're just switching out every single actress. They're switching out the whole cast. You literally might as well switch out the main characters too. Like switch out Harden, switch out Tessa. Let's let's redo the entire thing. I was hoping that we could move to London after graduation. Oh fuck that! And how was I supposed to know that? Well, cause I'm British. No, I tell you. <laughs> um, how was I supposed to know that? Um, what accent you think this is from, mate? What accent do you think this is from? Where did you think I was gonna go? Florida? Where, where did you think I was gonna go? Kentucky? 
No, of course I would go back to London. Bitch. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What do you mean, what? Like, I'm kind of getting better at my accent. Like, low-key. Like, do you guys think I'm getting a little bit better at my accent? Because you've made up your mind, you've got a plan, you've envisioned your life in a way that doesn't even have me in it. You are in it, if you want to be. Dude, motherfucker is... Like, I feel like this is the type of quotes you have on one of those little, like, bullet point lists of what is gaslighting? What is gaslighting and how to know how to detect it? You've already envisioned your life without me and you don't even want it. You don't even see me in it with you. I see how it is. You're, all go you're going off to do all these big job opportunities and I'm just, what? I mean, you, you want me to go back to London and you're not even come with me. I'm left behind last week. I don't even, I don't even, I don't even, I'm not even in your life anymore. But you don't care. You don't want me in your life with you. I feel so bad for her. I feel actually bad for her. We're just trying to get some ideas. Whoa. <laughs> Harden is a funny fighter. Like, in real life, Harden would get beat the fuck up in a bar brawl. There's no way you would see Harden fighting someone in a bar and win. I was showing him some pictures of you on my phone and this asshole leans over and he starts saying what he'd like to do to oh, you. Oh, now she's okay with it. <laughs> she likes it. She likes it. So I told him I've already done that. Like, you did not say that. I don't like it that this is about to turn into a sex scene. No. Stop. Stop. Stop the movie. Stop the movie. Imagine going to go see this like in theaters. Like what, what What would we do? Also, I think this was a scene in Fifty Shades Freed or something. I think this was a scene in one of the Fifty Shades where they used ice. Like I genuinely think it is. I'm apologizing. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. I swear. I swear to God if I was mad at someone and that's what they... They, they made that equivalent to apology I would be upset you need to grow up and learn how to actually apologize and not just stick ice up my cooter but they're wrapping his awful behavior into this sex scene so it's it's weirdly it's creating a weird association with his really harmful behaviors with this pleasure scene and it's making a weird association in the script he's saying that this is what this is how he's apologizing granted whether you think that was something that bar fight was something he needed to apologize for everyone has their own opinions if she wanted an apology and that was the apology he gave i just don't think that's right you should like if you want an apology you should get an apology but i guess she's fine with it so who who am i to judge girl it's not, that's not the type of apology i would want i don't want an ice scoop my cooter really just Ice cube up the cooter and then the, sh the straight dong. Like, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> this is bad. All I'm hearing in my ear right now, like I have my headphones in and they're getting really compressed with these ear muffs. And all I'm hearing is this, like really loud in my ear. Oh, Tessa. 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 Girl, shut the fuck up. You are so dirty. You, but I don't. I don't have anything there. You'd have me. Okay, that's not enough. Okay, he made a point. What does he want to be? <laughs> what is your aspiration in life? To be happy. Do you have a job? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Because I don't know what the fuck you are. There's been no reference to what your job is in this movie. Also, I think his tattoos change. I don't think he had those same tattoos in the last movie. I swear I don't remember those ugly flower vines on his fucking arm. We do need to stop keeping secrets from each other. What a revelation to come to in a relationship. Like, that is something where you know you are at a weird point in your relationship where you have to say... We do have to stop keeping big secrets from each other about big life decisions. We do have to keep, we need to stop keeping that from each other. He scares me. He goes into that forehead kiss with an open mouth. Like he literally leans in like this. Oh my God. He's definitely giving Voldemort in that outfit. Like he's definitely giving Voldemort for sure. I love the reference. Thank you. Asian people. 
This is the first Asian we have seen in the after universe. I am very shocked. I am so glad I have representation in this universe. Nice dress. Oh, and she's a bitch. <laughs> um, oh, okay. I am so glad I have representation in this universe. So. Um, it was lovely to see you um, and to meet you guys, but I'll, uh, oh, I'll have to go. So. Oh my god. Do you see that man right there? That man does not... It, it was not lovely to see you. Look at this bitch. Look at the way he's looking at him. He is not into this. This is the same scene from To All The Boys I Love Before when they're in the hot tub. I am only 30 minutes in. Oh my god, he's putting on a condom in the hot tub. He watched Glee. No! <laughs> I did not want to see. There was no need for an under the water. There was no need to get an underwater camera specifically for that shot. There was no need for that. Ew! Call the police. Not in the family hot tub. Not in the family hot tub. Look at her bouncing. Why are we watching this, guys? What? What are we doing? We've lost the plot. I need you to empty all of that water. I need you to empty it. I need you to clean it. I need you to throw some more chlorine in that hoe. How dare you do that in the family hot tub? How dare you fucking do that in the family hot tub? You need to pay for what you've done. You violated the whole family with that. Does your moving to Seattle have anything to do with Trevor? Who's Trevor? <laughs> Hey, honey, good to see you. How you been? Fucking Trevor! Oh, that's who Trevor is. Did you ever have feelings for him? You should. Trevor was better. Fucking Trevor! They're j She's just uh, sitting there, boobs man. out. Tits out, waiting for that family to come home. Pardon! My titties are out. At least let me cover up before you run away, like a little bitch. Uh, oh, I keep telling Harden he should give it a shot. It's not for me. No, it's not for him. Harden and Tessa are so miserable. Oh, your girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, my girlfriend. My girlfriend. Exactly. You're trying to make, you're trying to make, you're trying to make my girl Lillian seem like the bad girl. But little did we know, she was just gay. Also, hate that. Mm -hmm. Also, have always hated the trope of, like, the only hint of a gay relationship. It's when it's like a lesbian is hanging around the main character's man and she starts getting jealous and then the girl's like hi like i was just hanging out with my girlfriend like me and harden were just talking about my girlfriend and that's like the only like hint to other couples like same-sex couples in the fucking show is when it's like used as like a fake out jealousy thing like oh my god i'm threatened by her but oh wait she's gay get a new bit at this point we've seen it we've lived it it was in if i stay it's in like every single book ever like i hate it like move on like just like you just need to be better you need to be better we're friends from work you don't get to choose who i have as friends they don't want to be your fucking friends okay they don't want to be your fucking friends <laughs> tessa when you're so hot I just feel like you're just gonna let everyone have sex with you when I'm not there. You're just so hot. But, and, and no one wants to be your friend. Everyone wants to get with you and I'm just scared that you're gonna let them. It's really too much. It's too much, Tessa. They're too much. Oh. The irony is I got you the damn job in the first place. Uh, what was that? <laughs> he just says out-of-pocket things every single moment he gets. Like, as soon as he feels a little bit of hurt, he just says the rudest things. Pain. Lately, I've become very well acquainted with it. Okay, Bella from Twilight. Alice, I think I've been seeing him. Every single time I do something that pushes me to the edge, it's like I can still feel him. I don't know where you guys are. Please respond. I need to talk to you and I need to see if he's okay. Bella. <laughs> Why am I really good? I hope she gets pregnant at the end of the film because I feel like there's no other place we're gonna get other than her getting pregnant at the end of this film. Like, where was the, where's the author gonna go with this? They have no respect. They have no respect for other people's houses. Oh my God. My heart beats in battles. I really can't do it anymore, guys. Like, I really can't. How would 
you like to talk about that scene in After We Fell when you and Harden were having a little bit of a steamy scene in the in the workout room and you said and I quote fuck me till you forget about that dream thank you for asking such a wonderful question it was really I, I, I really loved that scene. It was actually one of my favorite scenes to film. You know, the gym room was just, the workout room was just insane. It was, it was wonderful. It was a beautiful set. And that line really spoke to me. You know, Anna taught us such a way with words. And it really spoke to me, that line. Because I, too, would want to be fucked until I forgot about that dream, that horrible nightmare Harden's having. I would want to forget that, too. Like, if I imagined my lover fucking someone else in my dream, I would want someone to fuck me until I forgot about that dream. I think it is such an impactful, important scene in the movie, and I'm so glad that people get to see it. I'm so glad that people get to see it. I think it's an important line, and I was so happy to see the results in the film. They looked amazing. They really did. And ladies and gentlemen, that was Josephine Laneford from the movie After We Fell, coming to you this fall. Make sure you guys go buy it on all stream platforms today. I thought she said fuck me until you forget about that dream. Looks like she's fucking him. Out of all the scenes, this one's not that bad. Out of all the sex scenes, this one's probably the l least bad. Look in the mirror. Oh, I don't want to look in the mirror. You close? I don't want to hear it. I don't, I don't need to know, know about all that. that. You keep, keep that to yourself. yourself. We didn't use protection. You didn't use protection? Oh, so so my my prediction that there should the ba the baby is gonna be at the end of the fuck. <laughs> why do I why am I right? This is a brush. This is not a paddle. This is a brush. Why am I always right about these things? This should protect you from pregnancy for the next three months. My concern is you may not need it. What an odd way to say that. What an odd way to say that she has some complications with her cervix. Also, what a plot twist. I didn't think we were going to be getting this. I thought she was for sure going to be pregnant. So if she does get pregnant, it's going to be like an even bigger deal, right? Or are they going to try to get pregnant? I really want to bring Tessa, but I don't want to bring her around my old life. It's just it's always a fucking issue with this guy. Can you just like not have a moment? Like, can you like literally like not have a moment for like a day? It's always a fucking issue. It's always something wrong with you. It's always like this is my like toxic personality trait coming out. Like this movie brings out my toxic personality trait where I'm just like get over it. Always an issue with you, huh? Always an issue with you. Always complaining. Always worrying about so much stupid shit. Oh, that's why no one's ever gonna love you because you always complain. You're always talking about going on about stupid shit that no one cares about. Finally, after three movies, we're finally getting that London scene. London, this place we've wanted to see this entire movie. Oh, he looks like a proper British lad now. He looks like a proper British lad now. Like, he really wasn't looking like British before, and now he's looking like a proper lad. <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. That is actually insane. That is that is the most exciting thing that has happened this entire, entire movie. I'm gasping. No, that's actually insane. On the counter? You don't get to tell me what to do, you know. You were just getting fucked on the counter like a slag. Don't you talk to your mom Hey! Girl, like yeah. you can't call your mom a slag. You can't call your mom a slag. There's many things that you can say, but you can't call her that. She's getting fucked on the counter like a slag. You're done. No, you're done. Harden, Christian and I, he's- What? Your father. It's not that simple. He's actually your real dad. That your dad's not your dad. This is actually your father. Ever think about that? Dude, you know they could have objected. Like if someone says I object in court, like you actually have to stop the wedding. Like you can't get married that day. You could have. They asked, you could have objected. Do you want to go again, old man? You want to go get old man? You want to play some sort of united front? Fuck off with that. That was a good one. That one was a good line. He does really well with those kind of like, fuck off with that. Like he does like a really, that he does a really good, like that would have not sounded good if someone like had an, like an American accent saying that. Like he sounded good. Like that was like a good line. I told you ages ago, but your mom didn't want. We get it, daddy. <laughs> we get it, dad. You're his dad. They're even having the same body language right now that means they're father and son. This is a father-son bonding moment, babes. 
fuck? That is a real betrayal. Like if you if he wasn't already angry about the cheating, you just had to layer it on. You just had to lay it on thick. Is he gonna die? <gasps> is he gonna literally die? He looks bad. Is he gonna get into a car? Is he gonna get run the fuck over? <laughs> Did he continue? Really? Like, we're just gonna go through the same, like, conflict through an hour and 30 minutes. I think the After franchise is becoming really big, and I think it might take over. We're getting a fourth movie. I hope we get at least five. After a trilogy, there might as well be a fifth movie. You know what I mean? Don't stop at four. Give us five. I'm serious. Give us five. No, I'm being serious. Give us five. Don't stop at four. You can give us more. It's fine. I'll watch it. We'll all watch it. We'll all tune in. We'll all rent it. So make it. Don't stop at four. We want to see them. So I'm sitting here with a fan who just watched After We Fell. How do you like the movie? How did you like it? Did you think you compared it to the book? Did you read the book? Um, how does this compare to all the other movies you've watched this fall? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. It was actually quite a roller coaster. I was not expecting a lot of the things that happened. I was not expecting to sit through the same plot for the first uh, hour of the movie was actually really exciting. I was also not expecting their acting to get worse. I was expecting it to get better, being as that they've already known the characters, they've already been through this, done that, um, just like Pitbull. I was expecting more. I was expecting the acting to be great. It got worse. Um, but nonetheless, I think the plot twist at the end with Vance was actually epic. I thought it was like a bigger plot twist than Breaking Dawn Part 2. I thought it was actually insane. And I hope everyone that watched it loved it. Personally, I didn't read the book, so I have no idea how it compares. If anything, I think it's better than the books. So I would have to go as far as saying that. Oh, that is wonderful. This fan has spent three hours watching an hour and 30 minute movie by talking through and pausing through each scene and speaking a ton. That is what you want for a music experience. You don't want to watch it all in one sitting. You want to pause through it. Pause. I definitely agree with that. Thank you for saying that. I think that the only way to experience this movie is by really zooming in, pausing, rewinding, and getting every single ounce of what that director wanted us to see. This director was actually the same director that directed the first After movie. I'm glad to have the OG back. I'm really glad to have the OG back to get that really good energy from the first film back into the third. I hope he comes on for the fourth as well. And I hope, like I said earlier, I hope we get a fifth. I'm really excited for this movie. There's lots to be said about Tessa's pregnancy and if she wants to get pregnant. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. That was a lovely fan talking about their experience watching After We Fell. You guys can watch After We Fell on digital platforms right now you can rent it or buy it thank you guys for joining us and we'll see you next time for the next after movie cut